Hey, what's poppin', y'all? It's your boy, Jay Will. I feel bougie. I got a Starbucks now. Y'all, we gonna get a tattoo today. Um, right now, I'm at Drip Tattoo in Jonesboro, Georgia. About to get a tattoo. Or get a neck tattoo. Oh, yeah, please don't ask where Candy is. Bitch, I'm right here. Sweatpants, hair tied, chillin' with no makeup on. But yeah. Excited. It has a dope meaning. Really dope tattoo artist. I'm done talking. Let's get to it. Are you Oh, yeah. Hey. Hi. I'm good, how are you, love? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> I guess I'm that bitch and that nigga because she asked my J Will. Yes, I am. All right, let's get it. <laughs> One thing I really love about Greg, you guys, which is the tattoo artist that um, I went to, he's really, like, dope, man. You know, I, he allowed me to be very hands-on with how I wanted my tattoo to be. That little scribbling on that line paper you see is, like, an idea I had sent him about the tattoo. But by the time I got to him, I had tweaked it a little bit. And as you can see, that's me kind of pointing without the little stick thing. <laughs> Just trying to help him get it right. And, you know, he was really cool with this process, which I really appreciated. So I'm posted outside, you guys. He's drawing up the tattoo right now. Um, I'm really excited about it. They were right. Once you get one tattoo, you're gonna want more. For those of you who haven't really like been able to tell my tattoo yet, it's ugh. let me show y'all. He gonna have to touch up the fingers part, but. I personally love it. Dope symbolic meaning for me. This one's gonna be a really dope one too. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I feel like this, this tattoo about to make me look like a snack. I'm gonna look light skinned. I'm gonna look like Chris Brown. Y'all see me taking pictures like this? It's because I'm trying to show off my neck tattoo. <laughs> All right, no. He's drawing it up right now. I'm gonna go. I don't know. Probably listen to music, walk around. I don't know. I think this caffeine is kicking in, this espresso is kicking in, so I have a lot of energy out of nowhere. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is pretty much after like 15 minutes, he basically did a rough draft of it, which I love at this point. Um, I was just trying to show him how to tweak the fonts um, and also how to treat tweak the dead rose right here i told him i really wanted the rose on my left side to symbolize like something not growing so he was just tweaking that and then when it comes to the lettering um yeah i'm really like anal about you know graphic letters and stuff um because i used to do graphics and stuff when i was younger so it's like word you know the way things are typed mean a lot <laughs> to me so he just helped me kind of go through um a bunch of fonts and i was able to find a font that I wanted fairly fast. I wanted to do that long kind of cursive one, but it was too thin. So I had to go on with this one for both. Um, I tried it out. As y'all can see, I'm typing the first question. It took me a minute to get it right. <laughs> but yeah, I typed um, the how bad do you want to grow? And once I seen how that looked, booyah. 
I was so I was so and Greg also said this is one of his favorite fonts so it's like if it's his favorite and I like it why not use it you know
here goes the final result of the tattoo i am so in love like it came out even better and darker than i thought i could have imagined um shout out to greg if you guys are ever in georgia need to get tatted definitely go check him out i highly recommend him like look at the detailing of everything uh yeah i love how it transitions and look like more life on the side and that's really ultimately what i wanted to, to represent you know um so i'm in love i'll put this information below tell me what you guys think comment like make sure you guys subscribe and uh yeah i'll be in the comments come check me out <laughs> All right, I'll talk to y'all later.